Hey, what is happening, folks? It is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you to another episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we unbox, give my first reaction to all sorts of stuff, pop culture. So if you like that, if you like seeing first reactions, not something that's scripted, not something that's polished, but something that's just like me, then you've come to the right place. Go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button and get notified when we have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday sprinkled in with some other stuff. And if you've already done that, thank you so, so, so very much. So today, what we're going to be going over over. I don't have much announcements. Don't forget, YouTubers, subscribe to them. Also, 2,000 subscriber giveaway around here somewhere. Members, think about becoming one. Thank you, members. But I did something, folks. I did something that I promised myself I wouldn't do. Uh, as you know, I'm into many fandoms, and I can only limit my fandoms, really, because I'd run out of money if I got into everything. And so the fandoms I limited myself to was Star Wars, uh, some Star Wars, not a lot of Star Wars, uh, anime figures, which that's kind of my second biggest fandom that I kind of get into, McFarlane Toys, uh, that's my third biggest fandom, and Transformers, which is my number one biggest one, and as well as other robots and stuff like that, and everything falls within that. Everyone's been talking about these Marvel Legends figures, especially for X-Men 97, and I promised myself I cannot get into another fandom. I cannot get into another fandom, or I would be sleeping on the couch, uh, you know, not being able to sleep in my own bed. My wife would kick me out of that room and put me on the couch. She wouldn't divorce me. Get that right now. She would not divorce me. She loves me too much, I hope. Uh, but she would definitely make me sleep on the couch. Now, I've been married for since 97 so that's a long time and so a lot of people ask what's the secret to a long marriage is being able to apologize a lot and a comfortable couch so uh but i i was on a live with uh ultra megatronus and diecast norbs and ray razel uh all these people on it and they keep talking about x-men 97 figures and i'm like i just can't do it i just can't do it and then finally i saw a figure that I had to have, and I'm afraid it's going to take me down the rabbit hole. Down the rabbit hole. And folks, it is, I'll bring it in here. Here it is, the X-Men 97 Magneto in the purple suit. And the reason why this one has brought me in is because this was one of the first X-Men comics I read was X-Men number 200. I'll put a picture of the, uh, the old cover up there where Magneto is on trial. That's the first appearance of this, uh, this uniform that he's wearing, this, this outfit. Uh, John Romita Jr. did a very amazing job in drawing that. And this is when Magneto made that turn back in the day to become a good guy, like to be on the good guy side, to take over uh, what Charles Xavier did and lead the uh, school of gifted youngsters and lead the X-Men and become a force of good. Now, of course, we know Magneto and Charles Xavier, they both have an idea about mutants that they should be accepted, but one believes one is more superior than the other. Won't tell you who, but um, Magneto was one of my favorite anti-heroes uh, out there. Uh, Wolverine's the second. Magneto was my first. So we always talked about who would, who would, whose powers would you want? I was like, the power of magnetism seems like it'd be pretty wicked awesome. You could just about control everything. Uh, but this figure right here sucked me in. I feel like Pacino from Godfather 3. Just when you think you're out, they pull you back in. And so this is my first Marvel Legends figure. So I'm going to try it out, see what it's like, give you my reaction, tell you whether it's good, bad, or awesome, and tell you what you should do as well. But uh, let's go to my lab and let's work on this baby. Let's do it. You all have already gotten a good look at this package. It is phenomenal. If you never watched X-Men 97, of course, the new series is on Disney+. Plus. I won't ruin anything for you. There's a lot of really, oh, crap moments that happen in it. 
And uh, but uh, X Men '97 was one of those great cartoons that was out there. Uh, amazing. Love the X Men. If you don't know much about them, I'll put a link in the description to kind of give you the history. It's a very convoluted history. Uh, but this figure, the packaging looks great. The artwork looks amazing on this. This is made by Hasbro, uh, and uh, so. Um, I want to try this out and see how this is compared to McFarlane figures, because I have not played with a Marvel Legends figure yet. Uh, but this will be my first because I love this suit. And so there's the front and there is the back. And here's the other ones that you can get. And there is also a first wave of them, too, that, that, that was out that had Wolverine and the other uh, Magneto with the red, uh, his red suit and his helmet and things like that. So got it at GameStop, got it as a pro member uh, on this, but let's get this baby out of the box and on to my table. Here he is out of the box. No metal in the packaging at all, so therefore he could not bust himself out. It was all plastic. Couldn't get himself out. Of course, I guess he could have controlled my, uh, my exacto blade to make things happen but here is magneto uh i remember back in the day i used to call him magneto uh but magneto here he is uh mutant master of magnetism uh very very powerful uh powerful 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 mutant but so far first impressions of the figure is i think it feels really good i do i uh it's very familiar to me feels a little bit like mcfarlane but what you get in the package we got an extra head don't get that a lot with mcfarlane figures we don't get an extra head here so we have an extra head for this this has this kind of angry face looks really really nice nice sculpt love that face love the look there's very clean no like overspray or anything like that they did a really really good job on that face sculpt you get a couple extra hands which are open ended i know typically with mcfarlane you usually get you usually get an extra set or maybe an extra two sets of hands and then of course you have the figure itself here and so that from a height standpoint we're looking at about six and a half inches, so not quite as tall as a McFarlane figure, and we'll bring some of those in uh, to show you just from a size comparison uh, on that, but uh, what it lacks in size, it does make up for in detail. So we'll bring this a little closer here and take a good look at them, but just very nice, that stoic face, the M on the chest, this is what was really cool to me, especially in that uniform, uh, is just that, that big old M and the purple, uh, uh, looked really really good uh i think it's just simplistic but yet powerful very powerful design looks just like his helmet almost uh from there so very iconic uh, look with the purple cape uh nice sculpting nice paintwork uh everything looks really really good and feels really good too the cape is is a softer plastic it'd be cool to have a cloth cape with wire uh that you can kind of manipulate but you know hey it seems like you can take the cape off so it's not attached to the person on that but there it is let's just give it a little rotisserie view here that way y'all can get a good view of him he just looks really good and feels really good in the hands has a nice bit of heft in it so made of some quality plastic so from an articulation i mean the head does rotate uh, you do have some up and down movement arm you have this movement here uh, at this joint similar very similar to mcfarland figures you got twist there you also have the twist here you have 90 degree you don't have quite more than 90 degrees on the elbow bend there uh, but you can go backwards forwards and stuff like that you have an ab crunch which is very cool one ab crunch you also have a waist twist uh, and that ab crunch goes backwards or forwards on that and then from the legs uh, you got twist right here at the thigh and then you do have uh, ankle uh, the knee you do have bend about that much right there and then the foot is on a ball you can get it out to about so right there until you start getting kind of the resistance uh, from there on that so that's a little bit of the articulation on the figure itself there but overall impressions it looks really good doesn't have quite as much articulation as uh, let's say a McFarlane figure but it feels really good sometimes too much articulation can get in the way especially if you're just wanting to play with something you know and just have fun with it but this seems like it's going to be a really really nice figure so let me bring in some other figures for comparison 
So really when it comes down to it, the comparison is DC versus Marvel, right? McFarlane versus Marvel here. Uh, McFarlane versus Hasbro. Uh, and I tell you what, I mean, this does a really good job. Not quite as tall. Like I said, articulation wise, I think uh, McFarlane has a bit more because you do get the toe articulation. You have the double ab crunch and things like that. But from a sculpting, I think an area that McFarlane falls short sometimes is their, their heroes don't look quite like they should. Take it for example, that Superman pack that had the two Superman, that one that looks like Shrek, uh, just, just, just didn't look right. Um, but I, I think they're both do really great job from a cartoon accuracy, like this Nightfall Batman looks really, really good. This Magneto looks awesome. We got the SH Figure Arts, which is gonna have more detail, more posability and things like that, but you're gonna pay a premium for that. Six inch black figure right there. Uh, Cad Bane, and then we have the 3.75 inch Wolverine Marvel Retro line on that. So that's kind of in a nutshell, some of the figures to look at so you can see for scale. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get them in some poses and get them spinning on the wheel of possibilities that you'll see after my final thoughts. So let's give you my final thoughts on Magneto. What are y'all doing to me, Marvel? What are y'all doing to me, Hasbro? This figure, so final thoughts on the Magneto X-Men 97 figure. This figure right here, I I am digging it. I I think it's 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 an amazing figure. It's got an amazing feel. Uh, the paint job is great. That classic M right there looks great. And then that's face sculpt. I mean, it is just an awesome awesome face sculpt, both the angry face and the stoic face. I think I'm going to keep them with this face uh, just because I know we've seen Magneto angry, but I, he, I, he's also a calm, cool collective while he's taking you down to Chinatown, man. Uh, he's, he is. And so um, by favor, one of my favorite Marvel anti-heroes and this will probably not be my last Marvel Legends figure. I, I've got to give up something. I have got to give up something. Maybe I just become focused on what I get. Maybe I just collect the X-Men line or uh, the Marvel line or the new Legends Iron Man figure that I've seen. <sighs> that's, that's a lot of money, but this thing is great. If you are a Marvel fan, if you're an X-Men 97 fan, man, get this figure. I think it looks really good. The uh, only caveats is it doesn't quite have all the articulation like a McFarlane figure has. Uh, it's just comparable in price. I mean, $24. McFarlane figures are about 20, 22, 24, depending on where you find, which one you go with. But this is a really good representation. I, I would say like, this is a definite buy if you can get it for the $22. Uh, price range 25 it's it's a little steep but i mean if you're a, a collector and a hobbyist and you love x-men or you love marvel legends and stuff like that grab this figure uh if you love comic books go ahead and grab it but gosh from a price standpoint it's just a little high uh but it's a great figure it's a great figure. That's all I gotta say about that. I love it. I think it's great. You know, on a scale of good, bad, awesome. This has a magnetic personality. Magnetic personality. This is he is filled with magnetism. Awesome magnetism. He's great. And I think I'll keep him like this. Yes, anoint me. Oh Magneto. Uh, but anyway. This is a great figure. I'm gonna keep them. I'm probably gonna keep them on this little flight stand here that I was saving for my My Hero Academia Deku, but this is now a Magneto flight stand. So uh, that's all I got to say about that. I'd like to get some like rocks and stuff, some like metal shards or something where it looks like he's like tossing them at people. But that's it. So tune in next time when we talk about something else, good, bad, or awesome. But in the meantime, y'all remember to stay young, have fun, and be awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.